don't touch signs are common in museums around the world, but not in Sao Paulo's inclusion memorial. The pieces are meant to be touched, a particular benefit for the blind who can visualize bits of Brazilian history through their fingers. For example, the best-known painting depicting Brazil's independence and founding most history textbooks used in schools can be seen by the blind through an embossed plate. I can feel there's a horse with Emperor Pedro and his sword. And down here, it seems there are other people on horses. The exhibit uses actual items and replicas from the collection of São Paulo's historic museum. It includes many objects related to daily life in the 19th century and also small-scale models of the museum's building and some of its largest monuments. When I was at school, I remember hearing about this museum, but I was not able to appreciate it. Today, I had the opportunity to get some sense of it. The special sensorial exhibit organized by São Paulo's historic museum is a different way to get in touch with Brazil's history, but also an opportunity for people to have an idea of what's in the museum's collection, since its main building is closed for renovation. The museum building, inaugurated in 1890, was closed in 2013 after an inspection detected several structural damage. It's expected to reopen to the public in 2020 after a renovation. The bulk of the collection is made up of items from the second half of the 19th century. These are historic items from a period of time when the city of Sao Paulo began to grow with immigration, industries and railways coming. The exhibit now in the Inclusion Memorial is a small taste of what we have to show here. Most of the São Paulo Historic Museum collection will remain hidden for a few years, but at least part of what's available for now is being seen and touched as never before. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.